Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the procedure of fitting of normal distribution and computation of expected frequencies by using MS Excel. We know that if x follows normal mu comma sigma square, then mu is mean, sigma square is variance, z equal to x minus mu divided by sigma follows normal 0 comma 1, psi z i equal to probability of z less than equal to z i. This is the procedure. Step 1. Find the mean and variance from the given frequency distribution. Step 2. Standardize the variable. Step 3. Obtain the probability of z less than equal to z i. Step 4. Find p. Step 5. Find the expected frequencies by using formula E equal to N into P, where capital N is total frequency. This is the problem statement. The following table gives the distribution of life of tire of a particular brand. Fit a normal distribution to the above data and hence find expected frequency. So let us see the fitting of normal distribution and computation, uh, computation of expected frequencies by using MS Excel. First of all, we have to enter the given data in MS Excel. Then we have to write lower class boundaries and upper class boundaries like this. In order to find mean and variance, we need x. So this x can be obtained by adding upper class boundary and lower class boundary and dividing their sum by 2 that is this plus this divide by 2 now you can drag this okay now f into x is multiplication of this and this this also you can drag this is this into this now let us obtain their sums So mean is summation fx divided by summation f. Variance is summation fx square divided by summation f minus mean square. and sigma that is standard deviation is square root of variance now in order to fit normal distribution we have to consider one preceding class and one succeeding class like this then we have to write down or note down lower class boundaries like this now this z is L minus mu divided by sigma. So for first row we put dash. Now Z is L minus mean is 35.3667 divided by sigma is 7.5354. Now you can drag this. These are the ZIs for corresponding lower class boundaries. Probability of Z less than equal to ZI is obtained by this formula. Norm S dist. This is our, this norm dist writes sta uh, standard normal cumulative distributions. 
so this z similarly you can drag this this p is this minus this that is probability of z less than equal to z i plus 1 minus probability of z less than equal to z i so equal to equal to this minus this you can drag this as well and this last one is we can obtain by this we know total probability is 1 right now this e into n p or e is equal to n is 75 into corresponding p is this now this also you can drag so this is nothing but expected frequencies or just for cross verification you can take its sum and you can check with the original frequency 